All right, next is from Buttons. Subject is Eddie Kingston. Greetings, K100 Crew. I know you mentioned the turn of Eddie Kingston in your AW review this past week. But I have to bring up what everyone's thinking. Is it possible that during this hiatus he's gained even more weight? To me, it did not look good. He even mentioned his promo that he had to put a shirt on because he had too much ice cream. Is it just me or is this a bad look for a wrestler to openly call yourself out for being out of shape? Thanks for your insight and that's some buttons. Like I, no, I don't, but, but dude, it's like I, Eddie Kingston's gimmick would work. He could be the out of shape guy, slot yeah, and stuff. Kevin like Owens. If if everybody else on the show like dressed professionally instead of dressing like slobs, like they come out of the show, because half the guys in the show come out in t-shirt and jeans or t-shirt, and then they, they look like the like I said, they don't dress for work, so you don't look like a gimmick. You look like an out of shape guy that dresses like the other guys. So you need to work on that. I don't I don't have sympathy for for people that, that don't put the work in. But bro, Vince Russo, bro, Mark Madden lost like like eighty pounds. You know, it's like the bro. If, if Mark Madden can lose that weight, Vince Russo lost like like 30, 40 pounds. These guys are all, all like sixty year old guys. You know, that have like the same schedule as like you guys. You a lot of free time on their hands. So it's like you know, bro, just just you know, put put in the work. I don't know. I don't. I I, I know people think I'm harsh or body shaming, but it's like it's like if you had more muscles and your belly was a little bit smaller and you're more in your chest, you'd look more. Menacing is a character, you know. I mean, and I don't think anybody can really argue with that. What do you think, Conan? Well, the thing is, is that we all know an out of shape guy that can fight or is a tough right. guy. So he's kind of like that guy, and the people still love him, no matter if he's fat or he isn't fat. So if they're accepting him, you know, of course he'd be more marketable if he was in shape and probably even more menacing, like you say. But a lot of the guys there don't. They're very well paid, and if the, as long as the fan base is cheering for them, they're like, why fix this? Because, you know, Conan and Disco and some other fans think this. Look at these guys. So, but Bubba, Ray, Bubba Ray Dudley, okay, right. was always looked at as kind of like just like like the fat guy in, in 3D. In, 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 uh, right. Was, okay? Dudley. Then what happened? Right. He, then he got in shape. Right. What, hap what happened to his career and his position on the card when he got in shape? Top heel. World I champion. mean, it's not like there's not a lot of history involved in like this business for guys who've gotten in better shape and moved up the card. I mean, like, that, that's kind of like, especially when it's guys that are talented. Because, like I said, the guy's got to make the guy's got a top a top baby face mouth for interviews. He can he can his his interviews he can, he can go ahead he can go one on one with anybody. But it's just like you look at it, it's like I don't think this guy like he can't beat any of these guys because he's in look it. You know, that, that's what I would say. So, and, and people, there's always a contingent of fans that have made fun of Eddie for the shape he's in and stuff. And, but, and then people on YouTube will be like, hey, W apologist and stuff. But I know that uh, Eddie had like a double hernia repair. So that's not exactly the best recovery time to, to try to tighten up your abs or something. You can't do anything, you know? 